Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to Thursday. Yes, welcome to <laughs> Thursday, and welcome to a haul, as we've oh. kind of made a normal thing now on this channel, as Thursday hauls. Haul. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the Tuesday video. It is actually Tuesday right now when mm. we're filming this, so we don't know how the reception of the people has been. Hopefully good. But hopefully you guys <laughs> liked the bolo. We had a really good time studying for it. It was literally, like... I felt like I was back in college. Like, I was, I had, like, note cards. I was, like, writing down notes. And then I was, like, flipping. I don't know if anyone can tell in the video, but I was, like, flipping through, like, a speech. It felt very, like, speech class. It again. was very, like, high school speech class where you have to give your big final speech yeah. at the end of it. <laughs> it oh, yeah. It was. 100%. But it was fun because usually I feel like in the past we haven't, like, looked into the, like, personal backgrounds of the founders as much. The who. And so it was kind of interesting and mm -hmm. built more of a, like, connection, I feel like, with the brand. So I hope yeah. you guys liked it. It was fun. For now, next Tuesday we haven't decided what we're doing yet but we would like to not do a haul mm -hmm. so please let us know below what you'd like to see we were tossing around the idea of a depop video I just don't know if we'll be ready for that yet we're gonna kind of think on it yes but we're not set on that 100% for sure so please let us know what you guys would like to see or if we did a depop video what kind of information would you want us to touch on yeah in the depop video yes hypothetical but today we do have a haul <sighs> And we thought that this was going to be a two-part haul, but now that we're sitting down and looking at it, I think it's going to be one part. We're just going to kind of move maybe a little quicker than usual, which I feel like yeah. we're always saying, and then it ends up being just as slow as always. I talk a lot. So we will jump into it quickly, but before we jump into it, I would like to say a big congratulations <gasps> to Ryan. I passed my test! Today, Ryan passed <laughs> his final two teaching tests. <sighs> so a long he's process. very, very close to being a Minnesota teacher. I had to take four tests to transfer my Iowa license for the same things to Minnesota to do the same things. Four of them. Two of them passed in end of April. Two of them passed at the end of May. Fourth be with you. And I passed them. So now all I have to do is wait for my little scorecard to come in the mail. And then I'm going to send all my money and the scores and everything else to the state. And then I'm going to get a license and then, God willing, a job. Yes. So congratulations. Frost. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so I suppose we should just jump into it if we're trying to make this one part. The things. Yeah. And I will let you guys know, though, that this is actually stuff from about a week ago. So it is all listed. It's all photographed. It's all on Poshmark for sure. Mm -hmm. It's probably slowly trickling over to eBay. If you want anything on eBay that's not over there, just send me a DM on the internet. Yeah. And this is from last week because, yes. in fact, we are not going to the bins at all this week. We didn't go Monday, and we're not going tomorrow on Wednesday or yesterday for you guys. Mm -mm. Because we just wanted to, like, catch up. We needed a clean-out week. The room that we photographed everything in was getting a little full. That the house was getting a little full. Things were kind of all over the place. So we had to tie up our loose ends, literally. It's been kind of tricky. It's pretty hard to knock out of the bins <laughs> once you're used to it, especially twice a it's week. It's been so sad. Yeah. I'm just like, oh. But next especially week, like seeing people post things on Instagram. I know. And they're like, oh, look what I found in the bins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next week, we're going to go oh. both normal days, though. So next Thursday's haul will be more up to date than this. Yes. But this stuff is all still very exciting. And we actually do still have like some luxury finds. Or Ryan does. I don't know if I do. Ryan does, though. I had a few. I got some new bolos, fine. though. Yes. So, it's a lot of good stuff. Uh, Every category as usual. And we'll start with, like, the others. And then we'll move, or at least I, we'll move on to pants, because I don't know if Ryan's assorted. They are just in the bag. And then we'll move <laughs> on to, like, tops and dresses and stuff. So, I'll start off. I literally have five of, like, others. <laughs> so, that's what I'll start off with. And then Ryan can... Have his turn. So my first item is this Patagonia hat. Uh, Patagucci, as everyone says. I don't understand that. I don't either. Like, <laughs> I it, just said it because it I saw it. It sells, but it doesn't sell for like... No. I'm like, are they just saying that like it's popular? I don't know. Or is... No, Patagonia. Vintage Patagonia, I would say, is like Patagucci. I get that. If it's like the old retired prince. I... So this is me being inept. I honestly thought that people were talking about like... A collab. No, the North Face Gucci oh. thing. And I was like, no, guys, it's North Face. <laughs> I don't know if this is men's or women's, but I think it could be worn by either. I see these all around on, like, Minnesota dad's heads. People jogging. So I'm not surprised mm -hmm. to have found one. And, yeah, that's kind of exciting. There's no tag, so I don't know what it's made out of. But It's nice. Yeah. Then, my shoes. So when I found one of these, I was like, oh, my gosh. 
I found Sorrel because these look literally just, I don't know the names of Sorrels, but these no. look just like the Sorrel that we all know. Those sandals. And mm -hmm. these are actually by Born. So this will be my first time trying Born. There's the label and okay. there's the word Born. These are leather. It's it really says. soft. It's, it's nice, really nice leather. And these are a size nine. These are so like squishy. They're these in, would be so comfortable. They would be really comfortable. And they're super, super light. Like if you were just going for like a walk outside or something like walking the dog these would be perfect they have Same very way. light wear that like a normally used shoe would have you wouldn't see that though it's when not you walk it's not that bad so i was actually quite excited to find those and since they're so light they cost me like nothing my other shoe is a zara zora, a zora. and these are just some like lace up leather back or side zip booties they're cute when i was looking for them i used reverse image search and i found out that these are a knockoff of an LK Bennett shoe, which is interesting. That doesn't surprise me. These are size 37, so they're like a seven or possibly a six and a half. Oh, There's like Debbie. a little bit of like glue marks at the top of like the front of each of them, but you couldn't see that from the outside. And otherwise they're in like great shape, especially for being a white shoe. I'm getting very like 1800s, like woman gets sent to the coast for health. I could kind see of a this being worked into a cottagecore look though. Oh, absolutely. Because I could see Doen making something like this. I could like see, this. like, Florence Walk making these. Exactly. So, these. I mean, like, yeah. if worked right, I like them. Mm -hmm. Then, a thing that I never would have thought I would have picked up, I got a Kermit toe. I love Kermit the Frog. So, this is official, like, Muppets merch. Muppets. I don't know if it's, like, from the show, from a movie, or what, but actually, I believe this is Y2K, or I thought it was Y2K, and in fact, I was right, because the back of that mm. Muppets tag says 2005, so it's Dang. literally Y2K. I got the vibes because of this, like, fringe to the top and this distressed, like, going around it. That's a very, like, early 2000s look. That was very popular. And so, the more you watch it, the bigger they get. <laughs> Ryan has told me that, like, certain kind of trendy or quirky totes do yes. good on Depop. So Character that's... totes are really popular. Totes with, like, the New Yorker, like, the magazine totes that everybody gets the ads for all the time. Some of those can do really good. Yeah. So that's why I grabbed that. Fun. Then, I have been finding a lot of Madewell bags in the bins lately. I thought this was going to be one of those Target ones and that I, are everywhere. I'm not mad. I am not mad at They're all. So nice. The one thing left in Madewell that does good is it's their the bags. bags. The yeah. shoes don't even do that great for anymore. No. The jeans do not do that good. It even depends on the style, but most of them don't. But the bags still do crazy good. Mm -hmm. And I've been finding that like Target style like messenger a lot lately. Or like crossbody. That a new day one. So I was excited <sighs> to find a different one. Even though I would have taken that one too. And this is in like super good shape. And I'm pretty sure it was someone's throwback. I'm like, why? Can you read it? Like, is it... Oh, yeah, no, I couldn't read that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's hard to notice, but I knew it was leather right away. And, of course, like, I mean, I know the Madewell styles of bag, so I right away mm -hmm. was like, either this is a knockoff of the Madewell bag or, or it is, is a Madewell bag. bag. And when I felt it was leather, I assumed it was. So I was really excited to find that, and that was, besides Kermit, my only bag find. I love Kermit Frog. Okay, so my two bags, I found this. So this is funny. It is new with tags from Target from 2001. <laughs> I was 98, 99, four years old. Um, it was originally $17, but it's real sweet. I was four. It's this, re I was, you were three. It's three. It's this really cute little, like, boop. Y2K suede flappy little bag. And this color is super popular right now. This little, like, brown. Yeah, it still has the original 2001 um, silica <laughs> packet. So if you want a Y2K silica packet. I was going to say, packet. if you want a fossil. That is odd. I think it's hysterical. Um, I got an angry message from somebody on Depop. They were like, why are you charging more than $17 for this? And I'm like, do you think a suede bag nowadays would be $17? No. And do you think Target no. would ever use suede again? Yeah, and it's no. genuine, genuine cowhide. Like, That's crazy. it's a good suede bag. So that, I think, was a cute little find. Then my other bag, so I was kind of excited to see this in the bins. It is not a Harvey's, which I was very excited it was. It is a Comley. Comely. The seatbelt bags, for me, historically, have done quite well on Depop, and I've seen people sell them quite well. This one has a little bit of interior wear, and I just noted that in my thing. And I like that it's one of these little, again, these, like, teeny little, like, you know, carry your small dog and your flip phone in it kind of a moment. 
Personally, I <laughs> despise seatbelt bags. Oh, I hate the dog. But that, that is actually cute. I like, like, I like the color. Like, that. like, I don't hate that it's like not all one god awful color. That like I wasn't sure if they were kind of like re becoming popular because of Bottega because it does give oh, a vibe of Bottega bag. because mm -hmm. it's woven. But mm -hmm. I don't know. That's cute though. I, I like this too. Okay, so I have one more tote bag, and this one I only bought. This is my car on, I'm sorry. Um, because I think it's funny. So this is what I'm talking about when I say, like, funny little quirky novelty tote bags. It says, non-vegan from Jack Link's Beef Jerky. I have no intention of selling this for a lot of money, but I think somebody on Depop is going to be like, I'm not a vegan. Somebody's like, I don't like vegans. I don't like vegans. And they're going to buy it, and it's going to be <laughs> ironic. Or a vegan is going to buy it because we all know how ironic vegans are. Um, it's going to be funny. So for shoes, I have a few pairs of shoes. First pair is a pair of Thawra shoes. If these look familiar, it's because they were in the thumbnail for the shoe video. I didn't want to show you my really good ones, so I used these. Um, Zara, size 39. They just have a little bit of wear on, like, this part of the shoe, but they're really not bad. These are so cute. They're these, like, little square toed, and they got a little, like, boop, got a little toe thing around them. And they have this cute little square toe heel. So cute. Didn't so, you find a bunch of, like, articles saying that was, like... Yeah, I found a bunch of, like, who, what, where articles that were, like, the Zara shoes this summer. It was from, like, a year or two ago, but I was like, oh, man. And that's, like, I'm I've seen people ask, like, what do you mean something's blogger favorite or how do you know? It's just, if you look up the Zara piece and you see a bunch of pictures of people wearing it, it's a blogger favorite. This one is. Yes. Yeah. Um, my next little attempt. So I did, full disclosure, find two pairs of Tory Birch flip flops. This being one. I found a pair of Millers that have some sold. So peace and blessings. This pair, I do not know the name of them, but they're just like the pair with the little um, logo on the bottom. These have a teeny little bit of wear just on like the patent on the strap, but like you can kind of see it. You can't really tell. These are, I want to say a size nine. Uh, size nine and the Zars are a size nine as well. I have some heads. This one is a Brixton hat. I thought this one was fun. It's a bucket hat. I thought this was going to be one of the, like, free people Brixton bucket hats, but it is not. Have they but collabed? I, they just sell some of their hats sometimes because I'm a hat fanatic. Sometimes they'll have, like, a Brixton, like, newsboy hat or, like, one of these, but I just think it's a cute and I like the colors. And then the last one I got is fun. It's this vintage Mickey Mouse hat, and I thought it said mom because it's, um, whatever. But it's Mickey Mouse. Yeah. It's really old. It has the little stamp on the back, and then on the inside it says sample. Spample. Hmm. <sighs> Just a random observation, that non-vegan tote is actually a vegan bag because there's no leather to yeah, it. Yeah, because it's canvas. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. It's just funny. Do you want me to finish my... Yeah, just see your other. Okay. So I have one more bag. Can you guess where this is going to go? These... So Rising International, I think, is like the brand that like started this kind of thing. And they're so popular on Depop. I have a jacket that has a ton of attention on it. This one is Earthbound. Trading Co. and it's just one of these little like hippie festival bags. So you're telling me that bag in my little reel that I made that I said every girl has had one of these. Yeah, they're popular. I should have bought. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And then I found two really fun belts. I sound like the guy from the Christmas story. <laughs> um, this one is interesting. So this is originally, where's the little thingy? It's originally um, Chico's. Chico's. Genuine leather made in India, which I was like, interesting. And it's just really fun little, like, belt. It's kind of hard to, like, show because these things just want to, like, twist. Little, I don't know how to, leather panel? Panels. It reminds squares. me of dominoes. Yeah. And then it just has, like, the little clippy thing on the back. This belt closure is very Y2K with the little, like, clip thing on it. And then the last one I got, this is really fun. So usually when I see these, they're, like, plastic from, like, a 70s Halloween costume, but this one's metal. And it's this really fun little circle square. Oh, oh that was bad. Little circle square. Oh, oh that was bad. Whoa. Circle square belt. Okay. And then my last <laughs> pair of shoes. I was about to file for what is that? Like employee comp or whatever, where you're workman's comp. Yes, yeah, workman's <laughs> comp. Oh my gosh. And then my last pair of shoes. I did find two of them. I found two. Well, two and a half. So I found one pair that I couldn't find the match to, and I was heartbroken. So they are a pair of Vemmel. Which, if you are unfamiliar, Vemo is very expensive. These are the lighter mules. These retail for $1,100. I found two pairs. One of them is on the way to the real real currently, and the other one is sitting right in front of me. And the other one had a green lighter. The other two that I found were black, and I am kind of bummed that I didn't find the green one. Vemo made in Italy. 
beautiful. Ryan literally found two and a half pair, which not only is just how, but also they all had Goodwill stickers in them and they were only <laughs> $7 at Goodwill Who and didn't nobody want them? bought any of them. What Goodwill? Also, what woman had three pairs of the same shoe and was like, I don't want them. I would pay oh $7 for these in three seconds. What in the world? So these are size 36. That's Everybody's wondering. They're insane. Obviously. They are so cute. So, I just gave them a little conditioning. Maybe so if you are someone that does not know that Vemol is a bolo, please write it down because it is very, very, very expensive. Vetements. It looks like vetements. Vetements. So I will move into my pantalones oh, now. <laughs> First up is a pair of Free People Movement joggers, and these are the more kind of like soft, like non-structured ones. These are so nice. And they are a size small, and honestly, of Free People Movement, the things that do best for me are the joggers. So mm -hmm. I was glad to find these. The leggings can be a miss for me, and the tops can also just not do that great. I think they have the... Leggings and the tops have to be like really trendy. So then I found some frame, and it has been a hot oh. minute since I found frame. I think the last time I found frame, it was in the bin suit with bare shorts. <laughs> These are, of course, the lay high skinny because I feel like that's what everyone finds. Why wouldn't Size they? 25. But luckily, there's something slightly interesting about these. So if you can't tell, there is this like black stripe going down. So at least they're not completely plain. Oh, was it leather? Is it? Yeah. Frame does not obviously do nearly as good as it used to do, but I am still more than happy to find it in the bins. It says nothing about leather, so that's kind of weird. Um, okay then, wow. Interesting. It does kind of feel like it leather. It feels like a little piece of leather, like piping, like Maybe. on the end of a purse. Then we found, <laughs> what are these? Are these Lulu? Lulu? Yes. Oh yes, Come these back. are Lulu <laughs> Oh, as it's like, I'm like, where <laughs> is it? And you guys are just staring at the logo. So these are Lulu Lemon. And these are like slightly older where there's like that little bit of like staticky. Like a little crunch to them. And these are boot cut. These are cute. So I think these are going to do really good. They, since they have that little bit of staticiness, there's that slight, like, Pilling feel? I don't really know what to call it. Just like wash. It's just a little bit of wash wear. Feel. Yeah. Where they'd still be like totally fine to wear, still just as comfortable and stretchy and stuff. Mm -hmm. And every one of these little girlies is out here wearing these boot-cut boot leggings. Cut. Oh my yeah. gosh, every one of them. Like we said, Target Wild Fable has boot-cut leggings. Though. Every single one of them. So this is a set, so I will show them together. They are both a size large, and this is a set of Eberge pajamas. I had never heard of Eberge, but get out your bolo notebooks because it is definitely a bolo. It's quite expensive. Their pajama sets are sold at Nordstrom and a bunch of the expensive stores, and mm -hmm. they retail for like $160 for a set of pajamas. It's expensive. And the, like, comps are super, super high, too. I listed this set, I think, for, like, 50 but there were people who had, like, sets for almost, like, $100. And I just, like, didn't want to price it that high because that just seems crazy. But, hey, I think I skipped a different pair of Eberge pants. So... Pick them up. I love them. I think day. they might have had, like, a bleach spot. So I, And I had oh, not okay. looked them that up yet, sense. so I was like, meh. Then, oh, my, like, favorite... Favorite, I'm so mad. I literally passed find. over these in the bin. I was so mad. You did? Yeah. I know, literally. So They're these so are cool. a pair of Levi's Raw Hem 5. Oh no, these are not the 501s. I forgot what the. Oh, these are the wedgies. These are the good ones. I don't know if mm -hmm. she removed the label, because usually wedgies do have that little like strip in them, but there's no strip. But I looked up the style number, and these are the wedgie straight, size 26. And you can tell these are that, like, higher quality nice denim. It doesn't have the tag in it that says that, but you can tell it's the nicer denim. Feel like a good pair of jeans. And this wash is perfect. It is a button fly as well, and these were actually sold at at least Aritzia. They may be free people also, but honestly, nowadays, I care more if they're from Aritzia because those do a lot better. So better. Okay, so I have a few pairs of pants sitting in front of me. So the first pair that I got is a pair of Pistola. Pistola. I feel like I found these in a bids haul or two ago, maybe. So these are going to throw the lighting off because they are a very light wash. <laughs> Denim, I promise I am the wall is not this yellow in person. They have these really fun, like, busted knees and the raw hem. What kind of raw hem? They have, like, a little like distressing on them i just think these are super cute i always take light wash denim for me it does a little bit better 
in the summer. And then they're just like plain in the back. What size are these? These are a size 27. And these are really new too, from what I remember. Then I found this pair of BDG, which is from Urban Outfitters. These are the Girlfriend High Rise Crop in a size 28. Oh, these are cute. I like these. A good, uh, again. Are these, oh, these are the ones I threw you, right? Yeah, they have the busted knee on them. They're definitely like more blue in person than they are on camera. And then they're just plain on the back. But these have a high rise. And then they have this like symmetrical chewed oh, split. Yeah, the that's sides. these. They're the chewed hem yeah. ones for like I, cowboy boots. I something. almost was going to get them myself. And I was like, okay, but then I'll sit on them for like five to six <laughs> months and not know what to do with them or Ryan will sell them in like two weeks. In like a week. So this was an iffy pickup for me. It's a Mahdi, which is anthropology, but it's a size extra, extra small. A Mahdi, extra, extra small. This might end up going to like a consignment store or something. I don't know. I just thought it was kind of cute as like a little pencil spring summer moment. I don't have a price that high. I know that for a fact, but it's really cute. So I was like, we'll give her a try. This is a pair of Lulu Lemons. These are... I think it's size six, if I remember correctly. Size four or size six. And these are the, I don't remember the name of them. They're listed if you want it. It's like a speed tight. They have like this kind of a back and they have pockets just full. Well, not full. I think these are like a cropped, a cropped legging. Like seven eighths, maybe? Maybe. Mine are size six too. Yeah. And when I found them, they were on the floor. So they definitely <laughs> went to the washing machine, which is nice. And then my last pair of leggings. Oh, this was a fine. So these were literally just sitting like, boop, Le logo up to the sky. Nobody was paying her any attention, which is so sad. This is a pair of Lulu Lemons, I believe. These are a size four, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and these are the good old full length Align leggings. These are the popular ones. They got that weird heart shape. Are these Align? No, nope, they're Wonder Unders. Oh, they are. God, they're just really high waisted. <sighs> So I'm gonna have oh, to go Oh, they're six. probably those ultra high wonder unders. Which is still like just I'm gonna have good. to go change right then because I have these listed as aligns. They're not Oopsies. Aligned. I wanna say these are size four, which oh here's the thing. But I mean wonder unders and aligns four. Yes. They so both that I will go change. These are not aligns. They are in fact wonder unders. They both do great though. Oops. So so with those Levi's that I found, I found another pair of Levi's. Once again, super, super oh, cute. cute pair. Good classic blue wash and what are these these are the high rise skinny or the 721 size these are 28 really cute yeah these are another style that i do like to get anything high i definitely will get yeah. like i'm much more picky with like the 711 skinnies mm -hmm. or like the mid skinnies like mm, no if i find those at the bins those are going to the, consignment, the consignment store, store. but for high rise skinnies i will still sell them myself mm -hmm. and i think these might have been a ritzia too Ritzy has a lot of Levi's. I so can see make that. sure you they check. Like if you have newer Levi's, make sure you Google check. Them. Then, so this is like what I'm talking about. When this in, is an amazing Vince find. Was that in the shoe video or was that maybe what sold Saturday where we said like, this is a really good haul. It's a very good Vince There find. may only be one or two luxury items, but like this is just stuff that this we love so to find. So I found brand new with tags Skims. I've never found Skims. Which before. is Kim Kardashian's like newer brand. It's and a I've, shipper line. I've heard that it is actually very good quality. Mm -hmm. I'm I don't know if I can judge because I don't I don't know what to expect out of something like this. But these are called the They're like so body shimmer. And I have not listed these yet because actually I needed to check what shade they were because there's like every shade and they're all very very she's easy. very shade inclusive which copper. i absolutely love this is copper and these are extra small so i will be getting these listed right when the camera turns off but i do have pictures taken already so these are also still on the site how much they're like a hundred dollars i don't know expensive. i don't know who bought like, them didn't no. even wear them and then donated them because why why would you donate your skins then <laughs> some real good lulu pieces for me so mm -hmm. these are lulu lemon and these are the wonder under six inch short these, these are, are so also cute. i think the ultra high they look style. really high waisted mm -hmm. i was like so i found them facing this way how you guys see them and i was like these must be iviva because i'm getting that they're Lulu tiny. intuition that I talk about, but mm -hmm. they're so small. Like my face is like. What size thing. are they? Are they? They're a four? not even a zero. They're a two. Yep. And I was like, these have to be like a zero or double zero because they're just so small. But apparently they're a two. But they're also camo. If you couldn't tell. Mm -hmm. Very excited about that. Love these. 
I have listed, and they I have love been these shorts. These have been popping off. Mm -hmm. So this is the Go Run, I think, like Go Run Low Rise. They look like speed the, speed, the Speed Shorts. Yeah, but Speed Shorts is like one of the most popular Lululemon short lines. The lady that I consigned stuff for, Lululemon fanatic, when it comes to finding things in the bins, and she gave me a pair of the blue ones to sell, and they sold very, very, very quickly for yes. like forty-two or fifty dollars. This is like the Wonder Under in a line where it's a style they've had forever. And they still make it because they just keep it, just, it, back. it always does good. So mm -hmm. even though this, like I said, it's called the low rise, which now I guess is fitting because that's popular again. But these are just in a really nice red. They're actually a lot more vibrant in person than the mm -hmm. camera can pick up. They're kind of pretty. And these are a size six. So someone was a oh, size six. Oh, they're too. Someone was a size them. six and donated all She said, food. I don't want any of this. Yeah, I actually looked those up and this exact model of the speed run, whatever, is still on the site. So mm -hmm. they're in the store right now. Next up for me is a really cute pair of like perfect for summer button fly shorts. And these are actually by Gap, which yep. I've started to like look into a little more. I'm kind of like experimenting with selling some Gap pieces. And what I'm doing is I'm looking at the season they're from. Mm -hmm. And for example, these are from summer 2020. And if they're from within like the past two years, I'm going to try a couple things, especially something like this that's so on season. And so. Like a good pair of jean shorts. Like, they're obviously not gonna sell for 10 because they're just gap, yeah. but like, easy sale. And they're a size 6 or 28, and they are high rise. Oof. Then I also found almost the exact same the thing. The same thing. But this is not gap. <laughs> so these are made well. And for me, made well denim skirts do absolutely horrible. Is for this me. A skirt? But these are shorts. Oh. And that's what okay. I was going to say. The shorts, on the other hand, can mm -hmm. do okay. These are the high rise denim shorts, they're called. Love. And they're a size 27. So it could be from the same person, actually. TBD. Then I'll do two more pieces of denim. Den oh. Denim. These are American Eagle, and these I picked really these up because plus size American Eagle actually usually does really well for mm -hmm. me. So these are the curvy super high rise jegging. And once again, I like give two more. With American Eagle, I am checking like the years they're from, and I only do like the past mm -hmm. couple. These are from the end of 2019, which I thought was close enough to now. That's fine. And these are a 22, and they're a short length, but they're super cute. They're like the light wash, and like I said, I just really like to do plus size American Eagle or just like newer, super new like American Eagle. Like I found a pair where the fly. Oh, it was like, an X it or was like the crossover. Those, Those do like so a good. Day. Yeah, they do so good. So one more piece of denim. Damn. American Eagle again. And these are just some classic black with a raw hem a to them. Two hem moment. And these are the super high rise jigging as well. And these ones are a size 14 and they're also a shorter length, which I think American Eagle said was like a 27 inch inseam when they're short length. The long one is like 29. <sighs> okay, so I have one more pair of jeans and it's just this pair of Levi's 550s. I love finding a good pair of vintage Levi's. Especially when they're not like, a lot of the times when I find them, they're like a men's 42. I'm like, I can't sell this I to know. anybody. Um, these are size 12, so they're like a 10. You like modern, and these are just like a good old pair of beaten around vintage jeans, and they are high rise. <laughs> Put on wow. your mom jeans. Anyway, from SNL. Put on your mom jeans. Okay, so then I found a few really fun, really fun swimsuits. I look like. God, seizure warning, I'm sorry. So this one is vintage. Like with like fun hair. Anyway, um, this is a really fun vintage, like 80s, high-waisted, French cut little one-piece swimsuit. I like that it has this kind of like gridded texture on it. The brand on this one is It Figures, made in Canada. Never heard of it before. Probably will never see it again, but I just love the color. I think these neon, like, open back bathing suits were always really popular for girls that go to, like, Cabo or wherever the they girls go. The girls, the girl. The girls, the girl, and the girls that gorn. Um, which is fun. And this one, I love this swimsuit brand. I have another piece by them. A little lighter. It's this really cute cup -she swimsuit, and I'll show you the tag in a sec. It has these ruffle shoulders and this convoluted back tie situation that literally took me 25 minutes to figure out. 
I could not figure out how this went. You either need a friend or you need to, like, hire someone. I literally had to find the model picture and, like, look at how they had it set up and try to mimic it because it was very hard. So, this is a size large, and I love selling cup sleeve swimsuits. They always sell very consistently for me. And then I have this one, which is new with tags. This one's a size medium, and it's just the bottom. The bottom, if it's just a swim bottom, I'm a little bit more picky on it if it has the tags versus if not. But I just think this one's really cute with this little floral detail on it and then it has this little like mesh panel on the side and then i have two other pieces of shapewear one of them is kind of lost in here so i don't know where that one went but this is a new attack spank this is the high-waisted mid-thigh short and a size 2x msrp 76 dollars have we confirmed that the singular version of spanks is spank because you always say that and i'm like i don't think that <laughs> that's <have> a spank <laughs> spank i love these <laughs> i love spanks or my spank. As now we get closer to wedding season, spanks or singular spank, they have been flying off the shelves. I am so happy about them. And I have, um, I don't know where they went. So if I can't find them, it's just like a black high-waisted peony. I am wearing a wonderful pair of spanks. What do you got on? I got my spank on. This is my spank. Love get em. your spank on. I love my spanks. Next up for me spanks, I like <laughs> is a pair of leggings. And these are really, really adorable. Aretha Adlito oh, size no. stripe leggings. I and almost wore that t-shirt today. I'm so glad I They do have a zipper at the ankle. And these are a medium tall, which I've noticed that tall athleta can do really good on eBay, which is like a really random I have thing I've before. noticed. These look really new. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh. These are from like These 2019 or something. They're from 2014. Dang. Which is not a pro like it's I don't kind of like a little tuxedo. Pack, I don't honestly. really care when Athleta's from mm -mm. if it's like still cute. But I just was like, oh, super new pair of are we the Athletas? Nope. Then we have a torrid piece, and this is a size three or three X, and these are some camo leggings. Little pair of leggings. Really cute. I have the same exact style, but they're a star print. I think I have some like plaid ones too. Then I guess we'll continue with camo. I found like a lot of camo this yeah. time. These are J Crew and they're size small and they have a little hole in the butt. So, <laughs> wow. Love when we're <laughs> mid filming and I'm like, there's the flaw. Uh -huh. So these are probably donated, but they're cute. They are kind of cute. They were listed, but when you see this, they're probably not. Then. <laughs> Tired from your test. You know, it's staring, so unlike you to yawn. Are you tired? Staring. I don't have a thyroid problem, everybody. I'm fine staring at a computer screen for two hours this morning and then having these blinding white lights in my eyes make me very tired. It does. When we sit here, it looks like we're looking into like an alien abduction. Like in movies when like the it's person like opens their eyes and it's like <laughs> it's just blinding white light. And then me sitting like this close to a computer screen for two hours this morning, trying to like balance my future and my past all at once. Like, like I always say when we talk about it, I will say off of filming, <laughs> Ryan doesn't yawn. I don't time. yawn. I don't have a medical problem. <laughs> I need to stress that. Next up for me is Sanctuary size small. And this is a really cute, oh, cute. midi length leopard printed skirt. Do you know who this reminds me of? What? Melinda. Kinda, yeah. I feel like she wears. It's a really nice, like, very stretchy elastic waistband, mm -hmm. and printed midi or maxi skirts were really in like last year, and I'm sure they still have quite a. I still see year. a lot of the moms wearing them. Yeah, it's pretty popular. Then oh, I God, have goodness. another pair of Lululemon. I have sold these so. Many. The, this is the Lululemon equivalent to that one Free People Beach top, that gray that one we've all had that everybody before. has like had so many times. I also don't have a hair in my glasses. So these are like the herringbone <laughs> Henley leggings i believe i don't really know like what the style Heron is Bone henley 28 inch wonder unders yeah oh well they're an older wonder under that's not as high rise yeah. but i guess they're at least mid mm -hmm. and they're more of like almost a knit sweatery material every time i find these 35 40 dollars instantly yeah they sell so well i have had them before i think it's because they're warmer and people wear them as like base layers i maybe? think i had them for like months and i had just sold them like a week ago and then i found them again and i was like i mean i'm not gonna skip them but hey. like i just got rid of you hey. they're size eight that's a good size and i will do one more and i think this is my last legging you got a lot of pants i know i know most of <laughs> my haul so many pants. was pants 
These are Beyond Yoga, which I, like, never find. And I do know mm. I've heard, don't use their model pictures, or they will be very litigious. They will come after you. They're a very litigious entity. <laughs> this is a That's size extra small. And these are just some, like, kind of, like, psychedelic -y blue printed, high-waisted leggings. Oh, they're really soft. They must be too long for the woman who had them, because the heel on both of them has, like, light wear. Oh, so I wonder like, if she was just a yogi and did that thing or, where they, like, wear them, like, on their heel or kind of like a thing. Or don't, ballet something kind of put them over the heel, like the goddess leggings for, like, Yeah. Ballet. I don't know. People that do a lot of yoga do that for know. some reason. Those I don't are really an know. extra small. That's why. Okay, so last few things for moi. Really cute ASOS design. So typically I don't pick up ASOS, but I love this because it's plus size and I think it's very applicable to the season. This is ASOS Curve, US size 18. Really nice, just really comfortable, oversized, like ribbed, cream, like tunic dress thing. And I did note that like the color is really popular, this like oatmeal-y kind of a color and like anything ribbed, especially with like the collar on it. It's just really good. So I was very excited to find that. And knit, like ribbed knits are super popular. Yes. So Jack gave this to me. It's a free people denim jacket. It's a size medium, just a nice basic little jean jacket. Then, oh, I did have a pair of pants lurking at the bottom of my Ikea bag. This is a pair of marine layer, which if you don't know, Big Bolo, Marine Layer, they do men's, which is really exciting and fun. And then they also do women's. So this is the Marine Layer High Skinny Jean in a size 26. They have a teeny little bit of like puckering like right in here. But when you wear them, you can't see that. And I just say that in the listing, which is not a big deal. I found a pair of Kappa sweatpants for men, size medium. I have no idea if these are vintage or not because I don't know a thing about Kappa tags. But they have like the little people tape going all the way down the side of them, which is nice. I found a little free people dress, which is super cute. It has these really pretty little red flowers all over it. This is a size two. Oh, this I was quite excited to find. This is Bryn Walker. Made in USA. And if you don't know, Bryn Walker is a very expensive... I don't know if she's, like, technically considered to be lagging look, but she's very, like, in that wheelhouse kind of a situation. And this is just a really nice, like, knit tunic-y situation pretty, with this big old funnel neck. I'm pretty sure Bryn Walker is, like, the um, department store like look brand. Yeah, I think it kind Macy's, of is. Because I think Macy's, and mm -hmm. I know Dillard sells it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I have two more. My second to last is this really cute little vintage Esprit. E-Spirit. E-Spirit. This little Esprit dress. This is a, a very big Depop contender. It's just this super cute little floral, like, V-neck um, swing dress. And these kind of dresses do super good on Depop. These just, like, lightweight little, like, flouncy little moments. And then the last thing, I think you threw this to me, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Urban Outfitters, size small, just a cute little, again, it's the ribbing, which is super popular, and this color is really trendy as well. Little turtleneck. Okay, so I have like five more things, and then we will let you and guys you can go. go because this, the rest is of your get, day. this is getting long. Yeah, 45 minutes. Oh, so my next thing is something Ryan told me is good, and it is called Nordic Beach, even though I will say it's listed, and I only have one like so far. I sold that already. <laughs> so it's one ones. size fits all. So if you guys want to go off, what did you sell yours for? Um, I think 40. Oh, mine's at 50. If, I'm not if you guys want to go I think I listed it at 50. If I any of you want this and you offer me 35, I will take it. I have it listed at like 55 They're or something. They're so soft. So this is like so a blanket soft. you wear, literally. Mm-hmm. And it's just like knit kind of fitted wrist with these like dolman sleeves and they're just big open fuzzy things. If you go to college in Iowa, every <laughs> single girl or female presenting individual has at least three. <laughs> Gray, neutral, and then one with their little sorority thing on it. <laughs> then I have an athleta, Aretha athleta that Ryan so threw me. I'm so glad I didn't wear that t-shirt today. Size small. <laughs> and this is actually a dress. Oh! I thought it'd be a tunic, but it's a very well, short shoot, mini if dress. if I knew it was a dress, I would have kept well, it. Well, too late now. And it's this like very stretchy camo athletic dress. That's and cute. I absolutely love Aretha athleta. And it has pockets. This is the bolo that I was saying I have a bolo. I guess oh, I yeah. I guess I left it till the end. Oops. So it is a brand that is called Joa Brown or Joe Brown. J O A H. I thought it was Josh at first, but I had read it wrong. <laughs> Josh Brown. This is a cropped, like just classic sweatshirt in brown, which is a very popular color right now. Mm -hmm. This brand is very strange. Like at some point we'll have to put it in a bolo and do like research on it because I didn't do that much. But these retail at like a hundred. 
but they resell for like 200 I wonder if they just like sell out really fast. And some of his stuff is like wicked expensive and it like is worn by tons of like bloggers and girlies and I had never heard of it in my entire life. Mm -mm. And it's all like one size. So it's like an expensive Brandy Melville. I will say though, this is a little bit more fitting for like one size. Like This looks I, like it could fit a wide range could, of people. Yes. Other so, than size... Not just like two to extra small. AKA so Brandy. if you see Joa Brown, pick it up. It seems to be very valuable. <laughs> then we got a Snoop Dogg shirt. Snoop Dogg. I love Snoop Dogg. It does have some spots on it. Oh, it's a gin and juice t-shirt. Yeah, it does have some <sighs> spots, if you can see that, that have not come out. But I still think this will do okay. It's a size medium, and I assume it was like a men's medium, but obviously anyone could wear it. It's so cute. And then the back says Snoop Dogg Gin and Juice. Gin and Juice is a very good album, if nobody's familiar. Which I was pretty excited. I found a lot of merch. You did find I don't a lot know of where merch. it all went, <laughs> but I had found like Taylor Swift and Dua Lipa merch. Dua Peep. Which I guess is. Wendy Williams. And Frankenstein merch. This is cute. So I was really tempted, obviously, to keep this for myself. But guys, when I tell you I have a lot of Halloween clothes, like, I have a lot of Halloween clothes. And I almost run out of time to wear it all. He doesn't get to them all. And I even wear it all year, but still, it's just like, I have so much. So I just have to be really selective. I'm not saying yeah. I'm not getting more. I just, like, really have to be selective. No, that option's never on the table. This is <laughs> H&M Divided. And they actually had just recently done a Frankenstein collaboration. But this is actually from an old Frankenstein collaboration, which is really hmm. interesting. So the, like, two listings I saw oh. on Grailed for this said it was rare. Hmm. But it's, yeah, just like I feel a like everything on Grail is rare. <laughs> Frankenstein graphic sweatshirt, it's and cute. it is probably a men's size large. Cute. But anyone could wear it. Frankenstein. Yeah, it's really, I really like it. I like Frankenstein. Oh, does it have a year? No. So. This is Frankenstein I don't know owned it's by from. whoever owns Frankenstein. Universal Studios. Uh, so. That was a long one. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was really long. That's so, fine. Now that the alien lights are frying us both. I'm frying my brain. I guess we'll let you guys go. Thank Ooh. you for watching so long and for being here with us and for watching. Yes. <laughs> and we will see you guys on Ooh, I almost made it. <laughs> Saturday for a What's on Saturday. Yes, we will. A normal one. Mm -hmm. That so far is looking a little better definitely than last week. Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah. TBD. But <laughs> we're only on Tuesday, so I don't want to jinx myself. Oh, no. And so we'll see you then. And I have nothing else to say. So. We'll see you later. So goodbye. Goodbye.